Vinny's at his house. Apparently, uh, football season. Is that right, Vinny? They are kicking that thing all over the field again. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Football season's here, which means my Sundays are too busy to drive out to Bothell and back. Vinny, I don't know if you've looked in a mirror today. It is football season. Do you look like you're copying Phil Brooks' style this evening? Oh, well. Uh, kind of yeah, do I, look I, like CM Punk. I know that uh, people are like, ah, can we just get ROH off AEW television, just concentrate on the AEW guys? Be nice. But the fact of the matter is he wants to get a separate AEW television show. And what you don't want to do is not feature anybody from ROH and then start an ROH television show, and then nobody has any desire to watch it. Now, I can't help but note here, between Powerhouse Hobbs and Miro, and uh, there's somebody else I was thinking of, but there's a couple of big hosses in this company. You know what they big need is a hoss title. Remember that guy, Hoss Toll? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we made the exact same jokes then that I'm going to make now, but the doctor went to Mr. and Mrs. Toll and said, it's a boy. What would you like to name him? And they looked at the doctor and said, Haas. For some reason, uh, only Jared cannot hear us, which is a problem because he's the producer. Hmm. <laughs> okay, listen, Jared, when my mouth moves, put the video on me. If Craig takes a drink of water, take the camera off him immediately. Craig! Does black and white television make you as crazy as it drives Brian crazy? No, you idiots. Don't even add, don't even move on to the next question. Right. I can't deal with these people. Next. Why don't you tell me about the game last night, Vinny? <laughs> Dumbest thing I've ever seen in sports. Oh. He wanted his kicker to kick a ball that had never been kicked that far before oh, in an I outside remember. stadium. Yeah. What, like 60 yards or something? 64, 64. yards. Oh, yeah. come on. He could have made a 64-yard kick. Come on. Okay, Granny. Well, what do we got for uh, wrestling this week? Oh, do I have to? I watch so much wrestling that everything winds right into. That's why I make so many mistakes. Do you know how much wrestling we watch, Granny? A lot. You're in the business and you're getting paid for in it, but the I'm business. not. Well, what are you talking about? You're paid. Maybe, maybe. I like how Jared moved you now to the top row because you're the main eventer now. Vinny's been demoted to the bottom row. Huh. There. Put me back down. <laughs> Roddy gets back in ring and gives uh, Rick a power bomb for the win. Oh. Roddy Piper I power bombed Ravishing Rick Rude. I have to call it something. Okay. <laughs> uh, what were you so upset about Friday Night SmackDown, Brian? Oh, God. I, I do not want to talk about this on the sixth just show. Me, just, just give me a hint. At the end of the it. show, a guy ran in and the screen went black and white, but only when he was in the ring, not when anyone else was in the ring. It was stupid. I, I think it's sad that Vince is gone. Did he go out in disgrace? <laughs> yes. Yes. He was. Factually, he, yes. He went out in disgrace, Granny. He did. <laughs> what, with women? Yes. Wow, she hit the nail on that. Ricardo ignored all the facts. He smoked to enjoy and relax. A violent fall made him forfeit it all to the killer that travels in packs. We had this one last week. Brian, I'm going to come over and beat the heck out of you. Granny, what in God's name was IRS doing in this picture? Can you repeat? I, I hate to say it, but I've never seen someone more erect. Oh. Vinny, erect can be used. I know. You know what I mean. I know. Oh, I know what you mean. He wasn't erect, but he was very erect. Good to hear. Yeah. I mean, actually, I don't know, because I think they were only from the waist up. Yeah. Well, I don't know what was Maybe going he was on trying to hide picture. something. Maybe... Yeah. <laughs> God. They allowed me to have super followers. I got exclusive tweets. You might get some special pictures here and there. No, not dick pics, which was the first thing my wife asked. He goes through the members of the, of the firm. The first one was Morrissey, who just says he wants to do whatever he wants. Yeah, but Morrissey's standing there the entire time looking like he doesn't want to be there. Kind of. It looks like he already wants out. And it's literally his first day in, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, what the fuck's going on with this guy? I don't know. Alex Marvez brings in Luigi, the wrestling pizza maker. You know, by the way, I'm skeptical that Luigi Primo is, in fact, the uh, premier pizza maker in all of New York. Pent is excited and shouts in his very best English, We are the best tag team! And Phoenix says in his only slightly better English, Tonight, we will be double campiones! Woo! This was so great. 
when Ray Phoenix did the Spanish fly and then got on his knees and then Penta ran and vaulted off of his back and hit fucking Keith Lee with a Canadian fucking destroyer. This fucking crowd. They had been sitting there on their hands for much of the wrestling on this show. But man, they did that fucking spot in this place like an atomic bomb had exploded. They fucking went crazy. Athena is sent into the stairs. Rebel takes the referee. Tony gets a chair. Britt can't get the chair into the ropes. Then she can't get it out of the ropes. Tony goes into the chair. D pins Tony. Athena is making a comeback. Britt curb stomps her. Jamie Hayter saves. She goes after Tony. Britt is still apologizing. What a mess of a segment! Chris Jericho versus Brian Danielson. God damn, what a match. What a brutal, gritty war of attrition. Brian Danielson, Chris Jericho, and John Moxley are the holy triumvirate of this fucking promotion. That's pretty clear. And uh, they should all wrestle each other only over and over again. <laughs> they should have like a best of seven three-way series because it is it is literally impossible for any combination of these men, which we'll find out next week, I'm sure, to have anything resembling a bad match. They are all oh yeah. They are all perfect opponents for each other. A recap of the first and apparently last year of NXT 2.0. Someday, Vinny, years down the road, we're going to say, you know what? Let's watch 2.0. Let's again. rewatch NXT 2.0 the NXT from the beginning. 2.0 retro review when, when we're in our 60s. Yeah. She is a battle tested warrior. Thank you. Spawned from generations of fire keepers. I am a battle tested battle tested warrior spawned spawned from generations from generations of fire keepers of fight of fire keepers yes there was a there was a lightning strike somebody managed to light a torch and her lineage are the keepers of this flame and if it goes out all of scotland is in the dark i'm living my best life I don't need anyone's approval, especially these fans. Have you heard these morons? They have the education level of a second grader. And Quincy Elliott's whole gimmick is he shakes his ass a lot. He grinded his ass against the ring post at one point. And they do a couple of comedy spots, and Quincy hit a springboard bonsai drop and wins. So he's like a mix between Goldust and Yokozuna, I guess. And the NXT logo comes up, and all those stupid colors go away and are replaced by black and gold. He was forced out of his NXT so that they could rebrand this place as the fucking Nickelodeon version of NXT, paint and colors and all that bullshit. And now the guy that booted him out is gone. And so he's taking his show back. <laughs> 